Hey guys, it's Billy coming at you from a uh, kind of a long overdue video here. Um, I don't know how quick this is going to be, um, but I have uh, the the music room is still in in disarray uh, a little bit. Still trying to get everything done. Maybe if I didn't have like 30 projects going on at the same time, it would be a little bit easier. But uh, at the moment, uh, I have a two week break from uh, work. I guess you could call it a little vacation. It's just a, uh, well not really a vacation, it's just a break from work at work. I'm still working here at the house. We're doing uh, a massive overhaul on our deck. Those of you that follow me on Facebook or uh, Instagram or Twitter, you see the horse shit I'm going through with that deck. Uh, it's a massive deck. It's actually two, two massive decks um, that we're, you know, having to strip because it wasn't done right the last time. It's just, it's been a, a pain in the balls. Anyhow, working on that deck, we're, uh, we have a, a big, uh, overgrowth brush area that we're trying to, uh, trying to knock down and clear out, uh, clear off the fence line, uh, power wash the fence, um, you know, stain the fence as well as the, the deck. Uh, and then I have a bunch of landscaping work that I need to, need to get done in the front, uh, at, at, while I'm having somebody work on a retaining wall on the side of the house. So it's been a major, major ordeal, um, that I just can't seem to get anything done. <laughs> so I apologize for not being around. I have tried to, to watch most of the videos and comment on, on what I can comment on. Uh, there's been some really great stuff, uh, some videos I want to join in on, um, some contests I need to get done. Um, Jared's, uh, you know, Backwoods Metal, um, Chris over at uh, What's Lurking on Channel X. Um, there's, there's a handful. Um, I think I already missed... Uh, um, I don't know if Gregory Short had one, uh, but I think Greg had one, and I think um, somebody else. There was another one that was going on, and I, I just I apologize, guys, if I missed your deadline. Um, totally wasn't planning on it. I wanted to get those in. Anyway, uh, before this one is a 20, and it could end up being a 20-minute video because I have uh, I'm still organizing everything here in the collection, and I was trying to put. I got all the country done, and I am. Uh, I have everything already categorized. All the rest of the rock and metal, and more rock here, and I'm trying to get everything uh, kind of set out and alphabetized. Anybody that know, that has done this uh, major undertaking, know know knows what I'm going through. Um, so before I did that, I wanted to show off. I've picked up in the last couple months. I've picked up uh, some. Two really killer collections. I mean, absolutely killer collections that I know you guys will will dig. And I wanted to share them with you guys. So I'm going to share the first collection with you now before I start sorting everything. Um, believe it or not, guys, when I when I bought this these both these collections, um, uh, one of them was a collection that I bought as a whole. The other one was a collection that I went through and cherry picked. Actually, I take that back. I've bought three collections. Uh, so one of them was shit out of luck. I don't know. It's already been picked through and and sorted it may actually be meddled in a little bit with these um but there were two so i bought one collection as a whole it was probably 110 120 records uh some metal and classic rock really good stuff and um that one was uh that one wasn't very much i think i paid 40 dollars for those 120 records and there was first pressings of sabbath uh you know the the, the first record um Paranoid, Masters of Reality. There was some really good stuff in there. A couple uh, early Zeppelin pressings. Um, so I, I have those. Uh, they may be in here, but I doubt it. I think they're probably already filed because I have uh, shown a couple of those in the past. Anyway, these collections that I'm getting ready to show, the one here and the one down here, um, I'm going to do those in separate videos because there's there's just too much. One is about 300 records, and another one is about four to 500 records. Uh, those two collections I uh, have picked up in the last few months, and I was able to go in and cherry pick. Um, I was the first one, actually myself and another collector that were kind of buddies from the same town. Uh, we went uh, at the same time and picked this one collection of about 5,000 rock uh, rock records from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Beautiful stone mint stuff gorgeous stuff uh and we were getting the stuff for uh, approximately it was a little less than three dollars a record uh when it was all said and done and then uh this stuff over here i was able to get for right at three dollars a record like uh maybe no it was less because it was this this collection here was seven hundred dollars for a little over 300 records so but 
between two and three dollars a record. But when you see this stuff, guys, you're gonna you're gonna flip at some of this stuff. It's really good stuff. Some of the stuff is just stuff that I wanted for myself, but some of this stuff is just massive killer stuff. So. Uh, I wanted to share this with you guys before I move on and start filing it. Uh, so thank you guys for being patient and hanging in there and always checking out my videos when they're up. Uh, we're getting there, man. Th this thing's coming together. But uh, let's get right into it here and I'll show you what I got. This is collection number one. So guys, here's collection number one. Like I said, um, I'm behind the camera now, but uh, give you a good uh, quick overview at, uh, at it real quick. I'm just going to flip through these and pull them out one by one. So. Uh, I'm gonna just go real fast. I might I might say something about about some of these and uh, give you a little bit of uh, narration throughout. But let's start off with uh, uh, the Bob Seger system, Noah. Uh, as you guys well know, I know I know Brother Steve, uh, Harmless Rebel, uh, has commented on this because I um, I posted it on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, what a tremendous tremendous record! And you guys know how hard this record is to find. Uh, there were all three of the Bob Seger system records in this uh, this collection, so I'm just gonna pull them out and uh, move on. There's Mongrel. Make sure we can see those. You guys see those? There we go. Yeah, there we go. So there was uh, Noah, Mongrel, and Ramblin' Gamblin' Man. You know, this, of course, is just a Bob Seger system, but it, this this one was originally supposed to be called Ramblin' Gamblin' Man. You can find these a little bit uh, easier than the other two. Like I said, most of this stuff, guys, is all uh, classic rock. A bunch of white snake stuff here. And, and all this stuff is stone mint stuff. It's great. <clears throat> slide it in of course the classic there no here I go again still the night all the 80s white snake uh, there's a bunch of who in here I mean a lot of this stuff as you'll see there will be um, collections so like the who there might be a run of 10 or 12 records stones there might be the same but here's by the numbers odds and sods gatefold Quadrophenia, Hooligans, It's Hard, Who's Last, and another gatefold on that one. Uh, kids are all right. Of course, everything slides in here. Uh, booklet, poster, all that stuff. Uh, who are you? Who's next? Now this one, unfortunately, I don't believe this is a deck of pressing, which I do have a an early deck of pressing, but this is a MCA Rainbow, uh, I believe. Yeah, dark dark rainbow, not the blue one. So it's a later pressing, but it's a beautiful pressing. Uh, meaty, beady, big and bouncy. Nice gatefold on that. It's just a hits compilation. So you guys, you guys see bunch of who. Then we we'll move on to uh, some foreigner. These were um, some of these were German pressings. These were all these were German pressings, as you can see. This uh, gorgeous um, bad company. Can you see that there? A German. Good looking stuff. G sounds great. Um, so all these would be German pressings, I believe. Not not all of them, but the majority of them. Um, Gold and platinum. There's some more foreigner. Chicago. Petty 38 special. More foreigner. These, are, these, are, like I said, these are all German pressings here. Uh, this is a, a gorgeous uh, German pressing of Skinner Street Survivors. I'll show you the label for the labor label lookers here there's sure so I was really stoked to get that I have um, a Japanese pressing um, I have a mofi pressing um, first first American pressing I, I have uh, so many different pressings of, of street survivors it's it's not even funny uh, move on a little full for the city some journey nothing like I said nothing that's gonna blow your mind here in this stuff this was uh this was pretty much um, just stuff 
take it or leave it on this. I got this stuff dirt cheap. Th these were actually um, kind of throw-ins, I believe. Uh, but there's a, a Mofi, uh, a Fly Like an Eagle. Which one's Willie? Great album. A little Wet Willie. Stewart. Some more Journey. Rick Springfield. I'm hoping you guys can see all these. Triumph. Look at that. Great record. I know um, Scott Waters. Shout out to Scott Waters on this one. Great vocalist. Great record. Some of these even have duplicates in there. Uh, these, these of course, weren't the weren't the best of the condition ones. These were, like I said, these were throw-ins. <clears throat> but still, some really good stuff. Um, especially, especially those those German pressings. Those were cool. This is a nice, nice German pressing of Triumph, Allied Forces, a uh, little Ronstadt German pressing, another Foreigner German pressing, uh, Nuge, Daryl Hall, John Oates, Private Eyes, and Cheap Trick, all shook up German pressing. So. With that being said, there's the first batch. These were the ones, uh, now let me move over just a hair. These were the ones I went through uh, and cherry picked um, out of the collection. So the, this is where you, you start to see the, the really good stuff coming in. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna move them over here. You'll see a, a run of the doors. Uh, most of these are all original. Uh, beautiful pressings that one there i think is a later issue still still early but not not first i'll just flip through these doors or there's like every everything in here i mean la woman nothing y'all haven't haven't seen i'm sure but good stuff nonetheless you two war Wide Awake in America, a little CCR, uh, Green River, I believe. No, Bayou Country. So this is uh, this is going to have Born on the Bayou, um, Good Golly Miss Molly, Proud Mary. It was one I didn't have. Uh, here's where we get into the stones. <clears throat> There's a handful of stones things in here. Like I said, these are all just gorgeous, gorgeous copies. Um, Aerosmith pump, little Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies, beautiful copy. I had a couple trash copies of this, but uh, um, had to pick that one up. Now we get some uh, some really cool Scorps stuff. We got Love at First Sting, Blackout. Uh, there's a there's a maybe the the cool Scorp stuff is in that other collection. This one only had a couple. Um, ACDC, Back in Black, 1984. This one had a bunch of Queen in it, I believe. Yeah, so now you'll see all the all the Queen. Uh, nice, uh, beautiful copy of the uh, the foil cover of the game, which normally you see those beat to shit. Queen Live, Killers, Jazz. Gorgeous copy of Jazz, which I had a, I had a, another copy, but that's definitely an upgrade. Same thing with uh, Day at the Races. These were all gorgeous. Sheer Heart Attack, awesome record. The first one, look at look at the a beautiful copy of the first Queen record. Gorgeous stuff. A uh, couple Joe Walsh solo project records. A uh, really, really nice copy of uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Double Trouble in Step. This was one that's been eluding me for quite some time. Uh, very hard to find record. Glad to have that one. Live Alive, another another hard one uh, to get. Gorgeous. Soul to Soul. A couple Def Leps in here. Hopefully you guys are seeing all that. Yep. Bon Jovi. There we go. 
Captain Lizzie, Jailbreak, Johnny the Fox, some more Nuge. Some Tom Petty, probably every, like I said, I have damn near every Tom Petty, but um, not the biggest fan, but I still have it in the collection. Great record here, damn the torpedoes. And then there is Crowded House. All right, so moving on to the last of this collection here y'all know this tough to find sabbath mob rules great beautiful copy heaven and hell live evil gorgeous gatefold on that There's ozzy we'll bark at the moon quiet riot this this uh this guy had the run i mean he had the run of everything here you go little lakeshore drive um, this is a uh, white label promo cream wheels of fire it's the it's a I believe this is a later because I think they had a foil cover on this record um, I've seen I think I've seen a foil I think I actually have a foil foil copy of that but it's beat to hell last in line Dio we got a bunch of different Dio's in here there's some more Skinnerd fancy this is a very hard to find Skinner still sealed um, uh, this is uh, Skinner's innards it's a greatest hits from the late 80s uh, the only one that I know of that has uh, truck driving man on it, I believe uh, is this the one that has truck driving man I know it had it on the um, head on the CD it doesn't look like this has truck driving man on it no nope. but anyway tough to find I did not have it. That's the only copy of that. And I have multiple copies of, of all Skinners except for these two. Another sealed one. This is from um, 1987. Legend. Billy Idol. A little bad English. John Waite. Uh, this has uh, When I See You Smile. And then uh, round out here with some Eagles. Eagles Live, Long Run, another uh, gorgeous copy of these. These, these you, normally you find them just beat all to shit. Uh, the first Beatles record here, or Beatles, <laughs> Beatles, uh, Eagles. You guys know what I'm. I'm just going through these fast, guys. So a little Desperado. Here's some Led Zepp uh, three, uh, Working Pinwheel, Zepp four, Houses of the Holy, uh, Into the Outdoor with the Bag, um, Coda. Get it all here. Um, so, so the only one there that was missing, I think, is is one, um, which I think I got in the other collection. So another nice copy of Born to Run. Uh, it's still not the original. Still, still not a first print because uh, Landau's name is spelled correctly. It's J O N instead of J O H N. Uh, still looking for a nice copy uh with the misprint of landau um here's some nice uh, floyd and rush um moving pictures permanent waves love that record fly by night got some cheap trick little shout out to ron haggerty couple UFO things uh, maybe there's just the one UFO in there a couple ZZ tops <clears throat> but just uh, just gorgeous stuff and a bunch of uh, NAS I think we rounded out with some NAS bunch of good stuff guys that wraps up collection number one so guys there you have it that uh pretty well rounds up um the f collection number one that i purchased uh those were a storage unit dig that i went through um with uh, another buddy of mine here from uh he's a, another collector uh, we dug at the same time um it was very cool we kind of helped each other out he would find stuff that that 
he knew I would like like the Sabbath and the Dio stuff that he really wasn't into and I would give him you know and I would run across uh, Crosby Stills and Nash, uh, Dylan, Grateful Dead, things that I'm not really into that's his his cup of tea so um, it wasn't like we were in competition we were just digging through 5,000 records at the same time uh, it, it worked out really cool and then uh, ultimately we both went through everything we did have to put some back because the guy wouldn't budge on the price I mean I know it's it's silly to say that you know when we went through at between two and three dollars a piece for what you just saw um, but that that we were kind of bartering to get a better deal but I mean we only had only had so much money I mean I think I had I don't know six or seven hundred dollars with me at the time um, I wasn't planning on spending that much but I didn't know that this collection was going to be that good I and mean, there was killer stuff in there as you could see um, so you know like I said with that being said we um, we both dug through there um, and then I got a, a notice like a month or two later of somebody here locally selling a collection uh, of a maybe a little more than 5,000 records again kind of the same stuff it was 60s 70s 80s uh, but it was rock uh, you know hard rock have uh, more 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 popular stuff you know just classic rock uh, popular stuff unfortunately I haven't ran into any great deals on uh, and he had really heavy metal uh, lately um, the garage sales have been dry uh, as well so uh, that that wraps up that one I'm gonna um, come back with part two and uh, show you guys what what I got in that this is that one's about that was about 300 records here the next one's about uh, about a 400 record haul so um, hope you guys enjoyed this video check into the next one take care peace